a slow one No, I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement, I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement I'm gonna learn the consequence Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number 41. And it's the final main event before we get to Sunday night, August the 7th, at our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, WWE Extreme Rules. It's going to be a great night of action here tonight, as in our main event, we are going to see the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre going one-on-one -on -one with the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. But kicking us off tonight, a woman that will defend her championship at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. She's looking to build momentum in a singles meeting this evening. It's the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka is in action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, the Raw Women's Champion. She took home the gold at SummerSlam, and now she defends it for the second time in this reign at Extreme Rules. Asuka puts the championship up against two former champions, Bianca Belair and the woman she defeated for that championship, Shotzi. We've been talking about it for weeks, a whole lot of writing on that triple threat contest. It was back at SummerSlam where Shotzi defeated Bianca Belair for the WWE Women's Championship. Moments after, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, rearing her head around the corner, cashing in Money in the Bank, and walking away from Phoenix, Arizona with the gold. But those three women will meet on Sunday night, August the 7th, live, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at Extreme Rules. Only one woman is going to leave Seattle with the WWE Women's Championship. Bianca Belair and Shotzi, we've seen those two women in action the last number of weeks. But now it's the Empress of Tomorrow's turn to try to build some momentum for Extreme Rules. Her opponent, however, tonight, a woman making her debut from NXT. Doe Drop is in action. Should be a good one. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, Doe Drop. Doe Drop coming from the NXT UK brand, making her debut here tonight on the WWE main roster. More women's talent continuing to get added to the great women's division here in the WWE we've seen over the last number of months. Casey Catton, Zorro, a few weeks ago, Indy Hartwell. Now here tonight, Doe Drop adding to the women's division here in the WWE. And what an opportunity for Doe Drop as she is going one-on-one -on -one in her debut with a WWE Women's Champion, Asuka. What a win it could be if Doe Drop picks up the victory here tonight. Could absolutely rocket herself to the front of the line to become the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship after the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. But here we go, getting our, our first matchup set here tonight on main event. Asuka taking on Doe Drop to kick us off on the final main event before Extreme Rules. And Doe Drop immediately taking the fight to the Empress of Tomorrow. And as we mentioned, still to come tonight, Drew McIntyre one-on-one with Shinsuke Nakamura. In our main event, Drew McIntyre going to be looking to build some momentum prior to his no-holds-barred matchup with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Coming up in Seattle on August the 7th. Asuka here taking the fight to Doe Drop with that kick. And as we mentioned, Asuka leading up to her second championship defense in this range. She already has a successful defense under her belt. That coming against Casey Catanzaro the night after SummerSlam on Monday Night Raw. So Asuka's been hot as of late. Winning the money in the bank, cashing it in successfully, already retaining the championship. If she can get by this match here tonight, that's going to be... A couple of big time straight wins for Asuka, leading her right into the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Both Bianca Belair and Shotzi. It was a bad night for both of them at SummerSlam, but both of those women have been on incredible roles as well. We've watched Shotzi get better and better month after month here in the WWE. And Bianca Belair was the champion for the better part of a year here. All three women are going to be vying for the same prize. One fall to a finish. It's not going to be like our WWE Championship main event at Extreme Rules. It's going to be a five-man elimination challenge where four people are going to have to fall before we get a winner. This is going to be a one-fall to a finish triple threat contest. And, of course, anything goes in the triple threat rules, so 
It'll be very inter interesting to see how things transpire between Asuka, Bianca Belair, and Shotzi coming up on August the 7th. And again, that's going to be a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Eight matches signed. We're going to run down the whole car a little bit later tonight. It's going to be an absolutely extraordinary event coming up at Extreme Rules. Look at Asuka here with that hip attack to Doe Drop. And she goes into the cover on the newcomer, but Doe Drop able to battle back. Getting that shoulder up here, the WWE Women's Champion in disbelief. Thought she had the victory in the early going of this contest. Doe Drop putting up a fight so far in her debut here in the WWE main roster. Look at this, grab it a hold. And a headbutt right to the women's champion. And what an upset it will be here tonight if Doe Drop can defeat Asuka inside of this ring. You got to think no matter what the result ends up being at Extreme Rules, a Doe Drop would be the number one contender for the women's championship of the world. She may have just squashed the ribs of Asuka there, but Asuka able to get the canvas, which should be the shoulder off the canvas. Does the Empress of Tomorrow. Now Asuka... Smelling a sense of urgency after those couple of strikes from Doe Drop here. Trying to muscle the bigger woman up, but Doe Drop able to battle out of it. She's got to watch her back as the women's champion coming from behind with the Bulldog. Classic, simple, but effective maneuver there from Asuka. Now just beaten down on her challenger here tonight. And Asuka definitely doesn't want to get off track and take a loss leading up to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. It's not going to be good for her on the momentum side of things, but she's eyeing up Doe Drop here, grabbing a hold, and I think we know what is coming. The Asuka lock is locked in. The move that won Asuka the Women's Championship at SummerSlam is the move that gets her the victory here tonight. Doe Drop putting up a fight in her debut matchup here tonight on WWE Main Event. But unfortunately for her, she is walking away in the losing column. As the WWE Women's Champion, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka gets the victory here tonight, tapping out her opponent, and Asuka's looking good, heading into August the 7th at Extreme Rules. What a win for the WWE Women's Champion. I'm sure Bianca Belair and Shotzi had their eyes on this. They see what lies ahead. Here is your winner, Asuka. Will Asuka be leaving Seattle with the Women's Championship? Find out on August the 7th. The action rolls on here on WWE Main Event as one of two number one contenders for the Cruiserweight Championship is set for action here tonight. It's the swerve, Isaiah Scott. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 201 pounds, Isaiah Swerve. Isaiah Swerve Scott, one of two challengers coming up at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view in the triangle ladder match for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. The one and only Ricochet defends against the Swerve as well as the former champion, leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. Those three men in the ring add ladders into play with the gold on the line. Anything can happen and everything will coming up in Seattle, Washington for the Cruiserweight Championship. But as for tonight, Isaiah Swerve Scott is set for singles action against one member of Legado del Fantasma. Santos Escobar going to be sitting back with a good seat tonight as he's looking to Joaquin Wilde to put a number on one of the men he'll compete against. Coming up at Extreme Rules. Santos Escobar, familiar with Isaiah Swerve Scott. He knows what he's capable of. He's going to send Joaquin Wilde out to do the business. And his opponent, accompanied by Raul Mendoza. Representing Legado del Fantasma from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 175 pounds, 
So Joaquin Wild tonight set to go one on one with Isaiah Swerve Scott. As we mentioned, I'm sure Santos Escobar has his eyes locked on this contest. Going to be looking towards Joaquin Wild to do some damage on one of his opponents coming up on Sunday, August the 7th. And I'm sure Ricochet, the current Cruiserweight Champion, is doing the same thing. Scouting his friend Isaiah Swerve Scott, a man he has wrestled in the past, a man he has teamed up with in the past. But coming up on August the 7th, it is all about the competition. It is all about the championship. And again, when you add those ladders into play, absolutely anything can happen. A dangerous situation coming up at Extreme Rules. But you know those three men are going to leave their bodies on the line. All for the chance to walk out with the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. And for Isaiah Swerve Scott here tonight, it's a chance to continue to build some momentum. Oh, and he comes out immediately there with that pump kick. May have just snuck up on Joaquin Wilde going to steal the win, but Wilde gets the shoulder up. And you remember it was a couple of weeks ago here on WWE Main Event, actually the main event after SummerSlam, where this triple threat match kind of became about, if you will, Isaiah Swerve Scott teaming up with the Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet and, of course, the returning Hurricane coming back to the WWE. Those three men defeated Legado del Fantasma. It was on that night, management deemed Isaiah Swerve Scott worthy of a potential Cruiserweight Championship matchup. Santos Escobar, on the other hand, although he was on the losing side of things, obviously the former champion looking to get back his rematch for the Cruiserweight Championship, which is why two men will be challenging for the gold. And Ricochet's got a huge obstacle ahead of him coming up at Extreme Rules. And Isaiah Swerve Scott's got to be careful tonight. He does not want to risk injury against Joaquin Wilde. And he's got to watch at the same time as Raul Mendoza, of course, in the corner of his tag team partner of, La of Legado del Fantasma, excuse me, here tonight. A tough task for our Isaiah Swerve Scott. Isaiah picking up ooh, Wilde here with the name. And again, as we've been talking about all week, as we've been talking about all night, Extreme Rules live, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, a live premiere. You're not going to want to miss that live action coming up, a part of Universe Mode, Episode 43, for the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. And of course, coming up on Saturday night, August the 6th, on the eve of Extreme Rules, a special one-night return event of Saturday night's main event. A four-match card that'll feature in the main event, the WWE Champion Edge going one-on-one -on -one with his old rival, John Cena. One of the men that he will fight at Extreme Rules as part of that five-man challenge. That is coming up on Saturday night's main event. The return of that event, a special event. Going to be another live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. So you got Saturday night's main event, Saturday night, August the 6th, and Extreme Rules, Sunday night, August the 7th. A lot of great action here. Coming up for Universe Mode. Coming up on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. You're not going to want to miss out on any of this incredible action. Incredible storylines. Personal vendettas. Championship affairs. A whole lot going on here in the WWE right now. Joaquin Wilde looking to put Isaiah Swerve Scott away ahead of Extreme Rules. And Swerve gets the shoulder up. Of course, as we mentioned, eight huge matches signed for the Extreme Rules event. Now, wait a minute here. Isaiah Swerve Scott's got to watch his back as Raul Mendoza distracting the opponent here, allowing Joaquin Wilde to get in there, attack from behind, submission hold. Unfortunately for him, not watching the ring awareness, and the rope break goes in the favor of the Swerve. But again, eight huge matches signed for Extreme Rules, including, of course, the Cruiserweight Championship matchup. Of course, it will also be the return to the WWE for the whole damn show, Rob Van Dam. He will be making his return against the Messiah of the WWE, Seth freaking Rollins. Those two men going to be going one-on-one. -on -one. Other championship matches, including the World Tag Team Championships on the line. As Dominic and Rey Mysterio defend the gold against the former champions, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. A SummerSlam rematch there, but this time it will be a tables match in light of the Extreme Rules event. The WWE Championship going to be on the line as well. As we've mentioned already tonight, the Rated R Superstar Edge set to defend the gold in a five-man elimination challenge. His opponents, Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, the former champion AJ Styles, and the franchise, John Cena. Four men will fall. The last man standing is going to leave Seattle with the WWE Championship. 
A whole lot of great contests coming up at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Every pay-per-view here seems to just be getting better and better. What an event SummerSlam was. I cannot imagine how great the Extreme Rules pay-per-view is going to be. Now get back to the action inside the ring. I say as Swerve Scott's looking good here. Joaquin Wilde's down off that knee. The Swerve coming from the top of the 450 splash. Incredible maneuver there. Maybe enough to get the victory here tonight, but Wilde gets the shoulder up. Isaiah just looking to stay healthy, stay injury free, and build momentum towards the triangle ladder match for the Cruiserweight Championship. Oh, look at this. Joaquin Wilde misstepping there. Isaiah catches him slipping. Nice hurricane rana. And Wilde's days, the swerve has got something in mind here. Something to try to put away his opponent here tonight. And Joaquin Wilde's in trouble. And he gets folded inside out by the swerve. And the victory goes to Isaiah Swerve Scott. Big time victory here for one of two challengers that will be competing for the Cruiserweight Championship at Extreme Rules. Joaquin Wilde did a number throughout this contest. Raul Mendoza tried sticking his nose into play, but in the end, the swerve outlasts these guys and gets himself a win. Isaiah picks up the win tonight, but will he be on the winning side of things? Come the triangle ladder match. Ricochet, Escobar, the swerve. Who is going to leave Seattle, Washington with the WWE Cruiserweight Championship of the World? It is the return of WWE Saturday Night's main event. A live premiere special on the eve of Extreme Rules coming up right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel on Saturday night, August the 6th. And already signed in the main event on that night. Two men that will compete for the WWE Championship at Extreme Rules. It's a long time rivalry renewed. The franchise, John Cena, goes one on one with the rated R superstar, Edge. Live Sunday night, August the 7th, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It is our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, Extreme Rules. And coming up on that event, it is the return of the whole damn show. Rob Van Dam, somebody who knows Extreme Rules very well, going one-on-one -on -one with the Messiah of the WWE, Seth freaking Rollins. The man who we will see in action in moments, the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre, looks to settle the score with the Celtic warrior Sheamus, and these two men get to come to blows with no holds barred. It is the triple threat contest. Triangle ladder match for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Ricochet defends the gold against the former champion Santos Escobar and the man who just picked up a victory moments ago, Isaiah Swerve Scott. The WWE World Tag Team Championships will be on the line in a SummerSlam rematch. This time, tables are in play. Dominic and Rey Mysterio, the father and son duo, defend the gold against Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. WWE Women's Championship Triple Threat Match. Bianca Belair, Shotzi, Asuka, only one woman can leave Seattle with the opportunity to become WWE Women's Champion. Who is going to leave with the gold? Intercontinental Championship is on the line. It's the Prince versus the Bruiserweight. Finn Balor versus Pete Dunne. Look no further for a wrestling clinic because these two men surely will deliver with the gold on the line. A personal vendetta between the two former members of RK Bro. These guys have been imploded over the last couple of weeks, and they're going to go at it. When falls count anywhere, it's the original Bro Riddle versus the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. And in the main event, the five-man elimination challenge for the WWE Championship. The Rated R Superstar Edge defends the gold against Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, John Cena, and the former champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Who is going to be the last man standing on that night and who is going to leave Seattle, Washington with the richest prize in the business today, the WWE Championship of the World. But as we mentioned, this man right here has an impending date with no holds barred coming up with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus at Extreme Rules. But as tonight, Drew McIntyre has got his hands full with the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. 
You want to talk about a test? You want to talk about a battle? Drew McIntyre's got to go to war before he can get his hands on the man he is itching to settle the score with. That being Sheamus, coming up on Sunday night, August the 7th, at Extreme Rules. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland. Weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. The issues between McIntyre and Sheamus started back at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view when Sheamus was still holding the Intercontinental Championship. He successfully defended against Drew McIntyre on that night. But the story in the roads led to those two men along with Pete Dunne meeting in a triple threat match at SummerSlam. Pete Dunne pinned Drew McIntyre on that night to become the Intercontinental Champion. Sheamus losing the gold without even having to be involved in the contest. Sheamus looking to settle the score with Drew McIntyre before he even bothers to go get the Intercontinental Championship back. But as for tonight, McIntyre's got to have his head on a swivel and has got to stay focused because he can't look past Shinsuke Nakamura or he's going to get knocked out cold by the King of Strong Style. This is going to be one hell of a main event coming up in moments on the road to Extreme Rules. Let's get set. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! Well, Nakamura's been having some issues as of late, getting his hand raised inside of the middle of the ring. A couple of losses starting to add up in a row, most recently to Seth freaking Rollins on an episode of Monday Night Raw. So Nakamura, not interested in Drew McIntyre's affairs coming up on pay-per-view. He's got himself in mind here tonight. And he's hoping Drew McIntyre is looking past him and is already looking at Sheamus at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view because that's going to give the edge to Shinsuke Nakamura here tonight and allow Nakamura to power through this contest, defeat Drew McIntyre, and get back in the winning ways. But no matter who gets their hand raised, this match surely promises to be a good one here. It is WWE main event, the final main event before Extreme Rules. McIntyre and Nakamura about to come to blows as the bell sounds. And of course, as we mentioned already tonight, you're going to want to stay tuned to the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel because on the eve of Extreme Rules on Saturday night, August the 6th, it's going to be the return of Saturday night's main event, a special live premiere that will feature the Rated R Superstar Edge taking on John Cena as well as several other contests still to be signed. It's going to be a great night of action coming up on Saturday night's main event and at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. McIntyre, big time headbutt there from Shinsuke Nakamura. McIntyre looking to make a statement here tonight. Remember the last time we saw Drew McIntyre inside of the ring. He went one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor on an episode of Monday Night Raw. And due to the distraction from the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, Drew McIntyre failing to get his hand raised on that night. So McIntyre trying to get back in the winning ways here. Does not want to go into Extreme Rules with yet another loss. Especially to Shinsuke Nakamura, who you know how desperate, as we mentioned, Nakamura is to get back in the winning ways himself here tonight. And McIntyre, definitely a hard hitter himself. He knows how to dish it out. He certainly knows how to take it. No matter which way you spin it, it's going to be a tough matchup for both men here. It's Nakamura with the neck breaker, driving Drew McIntyre to the canvas below. Nakamura, former Intercontinental Champion. Remember, originally, Sheamus was the one that defeated Shinsuke Nakamura for that Intercontinental Gold, dating back to our first Universe Mode pay-per-view back on April the 11th at Backlash. There's some history there and some tie-in history between these two men. Both of them got history with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. I'm sure Nakamura hell would love to get back into the ring with Sheamus and settle that score in his own right there, but what a maneuver by Shinsuke Nakamura. Driving Drew McIntyre down below, almost putting him away there in the first few moments of this contest as McIntyre using his strength to his advantage. And if there's one edge that McIntyre's got over Nakamura, absolutely has got to be the size and strength. He knows how to hit hard. Nakamura, though, most likely hitting harder. There's a reason they call him the King of Strong Style. Very interesting matchup here between these two men. Both men former NXT champions. Both men former Intercontinental champions and tag team champions. McIntyre 
with Nakamura above his head, driving him down. What a superplex. McIntyre again showcasing the strength, and now he's heading back up to the top rope. McIntyre with a point to prove tonight, goes for the elbow drop, but Nakamura gets out of the way. And again, Shinsuke Nakamura getting the big man over his head. And Nakamura looking to put him away. But McIntyre again gets the shoulder up. We were talking about the comparisons between these two men. As we mentioned, both men, former NXT champions, former Intercontinental champions, former tag team champions. Both men have been a Royal Rumble match winner. McIntyre, the only one of these two who has held a world championship here in the WWE. Nakamura's came close on a few occasions. Unfortunately, has not meant that match just yet. When it comes to their differences, again, McIntyre, the size and strength. Nakamura, the strong style offense. As McIntyre is going uncharacteristic several times in this contest here, as it once again does not go his way. Nakamura knocking his balance off the top rope and a German suplex. Sending McIntyre flying here. Nakamura digging down deep here tonight. He's got some strength to showcase himself over Drew McIntyre. And into the cover again, but McIntyre still getting the shoulder off the canvas. Nakamura, that's a couple of near pinfalls for him. You clearly see what his motive is in this matchup. Trying to knock off Drew McIntyre any which way he can. McIntyre with a nice kick trying to bounce back. I'm sure the Celtic warrior Sheamus has got his eyes in this contest, hoping McIntyre comes out scathed, comes out injured. We know the Celtic warrior would love to have any advantage possible and that no-holds-barred matchup at Extreme Rules. Absolutely no disqualifications, no count-outs, no rules or restrictions. That match doesn't end until somebody is pinned or made to submit. And that's exactly how the score is going to be settled between Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. There must be a winner in no-holds-barred. McIntyre send the Nakamura flying to the outside here. McIntyre goes flying himself with the senton off the apron. Possibly crushing the stardom of the King. And sending Nakamura into the ring here. McIntyre, I think it's got Shinsuke worse for wear. Could absolutely have an opportunity to put the King of Strong Style away here. But Nakamura, the sense of urgency himself, counters, but McIntyre counters. Now grab it a hold. Once again, suplex and throws him down on the floor. These two guys are fired up here tonight, giving it each other everything they got in a shoulder block from the Scottish Psychopath. McIntyre scaling the ropes and goes high risk, high reward again with that leg drop. Imagine taking a leg drop from Drew McIntyre across the throat. The strength of the big man. Look at this, McIntyre. That's a white noise, I believe. That might have been a message to Sheamus. He's one of Sheamus' moves in this contest. Going to send a message to the Celtic Warrior. Not enough to put Shinsuke away there. The message certainly sent in my eyes. Nakamura here trying to fight back. McIntyre's really laying it in these last few minutes. It's now or never for the kick of strong styles. McIntyre may have just knocked out the lights of Nakamura for good. What a big boot in the corner. And McIntyre going to whip him off here. And a Claymore kick to Shinsuke Nakamura. McIntyre with the Claymore. Oh, and Nakamura gets the shoulder up. Nakamura getting the shoulder up there. Shocking turn of events. It is very rare that somebody's getting their shoulder off the canvas after a Claymore kick there. McIntyre tries going for another one. Nakamura is dazed. Nakamura, that may have just been instinct there. I think his lights are knocked out. And Drew McIntyre right now. Sending Nakamura to the outside of the ring. He's got to be frustrated at the fact that that Claymore kick did not put Shinsuke Nakamura away. And the only semblance that I could try to bring for Drew McIntyre is the fact that maybe it's just a little early in this contest. We aren't super late in these rounds. Nakamura's trying to Fight back here. He knows McIntyre smells blood in the water. German suplex, and now McIntyre. Eyeing him up for Claymore kick number two. Oh, and Nakamura's busted wide open, and I don't think there's gonna be any waking up from that one. It may have took two kicks. Drew McIntyre build it up to that second one there. 
getting his mojo and his wits about him. And Nakamura may have put up a hell of a fight. May have hung in there with Drew McIntyre these last number of minutes, but McIntyre throwing absolutely everything he had at the King of Strong style. And Drew McIntyre getting the win he was looking for on the road to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. And if Sheamus is watching, he's got to be worried of what's coming in his path come no holds barred. A whole lot of writing on everything coming up at Extreme Rules. Sunday night, August the 7th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. A live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Drew McIntyre, will he scuttle the score with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus? Find out at Extreme Rules. We will see you on Saturday night's main event on the 6th at Extreme Rules on the 7th. Good night, everybody.